toward her destiny. Oh, yes. And it also <laughs> falls in her <laughs> story. Yeah, it's too, but it's fine. <laughs> to the best day ever, Coronation Day. Coronation! I love instant yes. <laughs> Elsa to take the crown. She steals the crown. No, she doesn't. Did uh, you sleep through all of Verendale history when a one? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is when Elsa becomes Queen of Verendale. power. Exactly. She was scared they would show and be cast out of the kingdom for all the while. Princess Anna found herself dreaming of the possibility <laughs> of opening the castle gates for the first time in. My whole life to find my own place And maybe it's the party talking Or the chocolate fondue But with you But with you I want my place I see your face And, and it's nothing like I've ever known, known before Story. Thank you. His name is Clip Clop. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's Chris Sock. How you doing, Clip Clop? Listen, buddy, we didn't recognize you without your reindeer seven. Uh, well, Sven found himself some carrots, and he had just gotten to the, um, uh, look, that's beside the point. Uh, you know, I kind of helped out. Uh, and Princess Anna never would have made it up the North Mountain without my help. Oh, not to mention. You lied! Her. You thought she's pretty! You lied her braids and her eyes and the freckles on her face! What? I thought she was interesting, that's for sure. Not as interesting as reindeer. So what? A reindeer's my best friend. It's not that weird. It's weird. All right, let's just get the story straight. Okay. okay. Now, Princess Anna meets a rugged and fearless ice harvester. Who? Kristoff. Uh, get out. No, stay. Leave. Give me your number. <laughs> Still like an emergency tree. <laughs> Whose cunning bravery helps get her up the North Mountain. I'll say. <laughs> Did you sleep through all of Arendelle history 101? Cash me outside, how about that? Ooh! He is dreamy too. Oh, come on, you never call me dreamy. Because you dress like an elf. <laughs> Why would you say that?
It's time to announce the best singer in the audience Ooh, award. Okay. It was Michaela. That was hilarious. Thank you for bringing me along to it. I didn't want to do it because I was like, oh, frozen. But as you saw in the clips, that was so hilarious. I want to see it again just for those two or, you know, any of the other. Uh, Royal historians. Yes, the Royal Historians of Arendelle. That was just so funny. I was like crying. I even, I was laughing so much. I even snorted. <laughs> but yes, now we are just going to visit the facilities and then we're going to go meet Star Lord, which is exciting. Then. Probably a fantastic time. Then uh, chill and watch Fantasmic in a bit, which is going to be amazing. I won't record it or anything like that. I just want to kind of watch it. It would be nice to get pictures and stuff because I always see people have nice photos of uh, Fantasmic, but like, you know, with all the other things, I just want to try and experience it for the first time. For the first time. I knew it again. <laughs> Knew it. Hashtag predictable. Hashtag thirsty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Christoph. Nice Christoph. Nice Christoph. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So we are sat ready to watch Fantasmic. Uh, it's still about half an hour away, but we are right on the front row. Like, holy crap. We can't get any more print if we tried, we'll be in the water. So yeah, thanks to Millie for her, her knowledge. Her knowledge of the parks and everything has been fantastic because she knows so much stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we just also watched the Paris Caribbean preview. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I know the movie comes out next week, but evening, I really cannot wait. And, oh. and welcome to the Hollywood Hills Amphitheater. Oh, thank you very much. Please select a so room yeah, the next time I see you guys, I'll most likely be in the hotel. So. So I am back in my room as you can tell and I look a mess because um, as you guys saw I, we were on front row for Fantasmic and we got a bit wet. Basically the wind was blowing horrifically and 90% of the show is a giant water screen. So obviously as a result we got completely drenched like I had water dripping off my nose my entire body except for my back, you know, my entire front was dripping, my hair is all wet, luckily I'm having a shower tonight, but we were like, oh no. Millie was telling me a story that that's happened to her before, but it was like way worse, like it was constantly windy, so obviously all the water was blowing in the faces, it was worth it though. Um, the only thing that was like, like I, I hate saying this because it makes me sound like a right Debbie Downer, and it makes me sound like a right grumpy old lady, but there was a group of girls right over there, next to us and they um they probably had a friend on the show or they just really like the show and they were screaming but they were over screaming like i know i sometimes we think we may be loud during stars and parade but i feel like we, we we're not that bad like they were screaming that it was kind of like i can't even describe it without like offending people but you know it was just like calm down 
we know you like the show and you probably have a friend on the show which is nice but you know they were wooing and screaming like you know uh, just overly screaming and shouting to a water screen and I was like saying to Millie they do realize that the water screen can't hear them like you know it was getting too much that Millie actually ran over to them to say can you just bring it down a notch and they did and they still wooed and stuff but it was literally like obviously I can't really like uh, uh, you know, d demonstrate it because obviously I'm in my room and everything like that. I don't scream and yell, but you know, like, you know, it was that typical American. You know, imagine somebody at you know a football game or a baseball game, you know, or something like that. Basketball game, where like full on proper screaming, and I was like, you know, I know you guys are enjoying it, and I don't really want to bring it down on you, but I'm trying to enjoy the show, and if all I keep seeing is you looking like, you know, an idiot the entire time and screaming practically in my ear it's not gonna be any joyful for me the rest of the show was was joyful because they shut up so I hate saying this because it really makes me sound like like an old lady and you know if we've ever done that during any magic on parades and stars on parades you know it makes me feel really guilty because you know you don't know whose first shows and parades that is and you don't you know want to ruin it for them but I don't think we're ever that bad because no offense to any Americans you guys are on the loud side like you just have no, you know, you're too overconfident. Like, we were walking to Fantasmic and we had our food in our hands and a guy literally just came up to me and said, that's a tasty looking burger you've got there. And I was like, thanks. Like, it was half eaten and it was, like, a mess. And I was like, why comment on that? Like, I don't understand. Like, I honestly think, like, if I ever did work in the US, it would take a lot of adjustment. Like... You know, I've always obviously wanted to come work over here, but I think it might be different because I can't really imagine that many artists and animators being like that. You know, we're all mutually reserved and quiet and just wanting to get on with our lives and get on with our work. And, you know, I'm obviously used to the bluntness of European life, going to Disneyland Paris and everything like that, that having people just randomly talk to me is weird. But um, anyway, completely rant over. I'm gonna come back to the positive things. I have have a, uh, I have had an amazing day, as you guys have seen. It was absolutely fantastic. I've had so many amazing interactions, which you guys will have hopefully all seen, and everything like that. Um, I tweeted this earlier, and it's something I wanted to say is I really, really want to thank every single cast member I have seen. They all have been absolutely magical and amazing. Um, even from the ones just stood on, you know, the sidewalk saying good morning and stuff like that to me. You know, it's 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 a change of scenery it's a breath of fresh air to be in a Disney park and have everyone be so nice and loving and you know constantly you know saying hello to me and everything like that it's it's absolutely wonderful thank you to all the cast members um it's been amazing so yeah thank you for joining me on today's uh video so uh tomorrow we are heading to Epcot which is going to be amazing we will be heading on to Millie's turf and uh, I cannot wait so uh, we have fast passes for characters in the morning. Then after that, straight away, we have Soarin', Frozen Ever After in the afternoon. And then something else. I can't remember. I'm brain dead. Like, the heat is sapping out my memory. Um, then something in the afternoon. Lion King? Is that the first bus? Or is that just a month? I don't know. Either way. So tomorrow is going to be hopefully a lot more characters because there is plenty of them dotted around. So today we met quite a lot of characters in a special thing, Character Palooza. Um, it's not really meant to be a mainstream thing, so I'm not going to say where or when it is. You have to figure that out yourself. I'm grateful Millie obviously knew all this information. It is a thing that is known because even I knew it and I obviously don't go to Walt Disney World. But obviously I didn't know the times, I didn't know the location. But obviously we met Mary, Snow, Geppetto, Genie, which is quite a rare thing to happen. Like Millie, I said to Millie Genie, she was like, no. And I was like, hmm, it's coming out. Evil Queen, Aladdin and Jasmine in their new outfits, which was lovely. Um, I'm glad I met Jasmine today because that means that I have to see it tomorrow. <laughs> um you know, trying to cut back on things, and then obviously all the amazing rare characters of Star-Lord, uh, Kylo Ren, Chewie, BB-8, who nuzzled me, which was adorable, and, um, uh, missing another, oh, and Olaf, of course, and obviously Mickey was adorable today, Minnie was beautiful as ever, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys, again, sorry, I'm, I keep rambling, so thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video, make sure you join back tomorrow, please make sure that you like this video, give it a good 
thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to subscribe and hit the notification bell so whenever I upload the next part of the vlog you will know either the next part or next day so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you have enjoyed today Mwah! love you all and I shall see you real soon